Hi, welcome back to Jin Core YouTube channel, guys. This is the 17th video in the Java FX Library Management tutorial series, and uh, the last video was around six months back. And today I'm going to continue this library management system project. And so far we have implemented the uh, option to add a new member, add new book, book issue, book renewal and book submission explorer. What we are going to do today is we are going to create this settings option. Inside setting option, I'm thinking about adding four entries. I mean, uh, if we have to give a username and password so that we can authenticate during the startup of the program. So we need a username and password in the settings. And the one more thing is in order to calculate fine, we have to uh, give an entry for a number of days a member can uh, take the book with him without having fine so the, that entry should be there and the fine per day I mean after crossing the specific period specified by the uh, number of days he can take the book without fine he has to uh, pay the fine in a per day basis so we will be giving our entry for that too so, so there will be four text fields I mean uh, text fields and two buttons one save and cancel so let us start designing the settings below so i'm going to create a new package here that should be the settings so source packages library there is currently under database add member etc so we want one more setting so java package and library assistant dot settings so we are going to create the settings so instead of that we will be having ui and uh, settings wrapper and uh, I will uh, explain that later. So I'm going to create a J uh, an FXML file. So I need an FXML file. So uh, Java FX not main class. We need a, an empty FXML file. So then the name of the uh, FXML file is settings. Then use a Java controller class. So definitely we need a controller class. So let that be settings controller and uh, for css i will use uh, a global create a global css file uh, i mean it is not a good idea to create css file for every entries i mean that was the method i was following but it is a little bit uh, a tedious task so we will create a common css file today so i'm going to create a new package called resources and inside that i am going to add a css file so other than other here you can find it cascade style sheet inside the categories there is a category for other than category style sheet ca cascade style sheet so common dot css and in order to get some values i'm going to take the entries from add book and there is uh, i have some good uh, jfx button and jfx button over uh, status so that's it so oh, let's come back to the uh, settings section and settings.fxml and let's open it. Let me close this program for now. So I have an angle pane, that's okay. Uh, uh, settings, okay, that's it. Then we have to associate the uh, cascade style sheet CSS file. So it is in there, definitely source, resources, common.css. And what we need is we need a vertical I mean uh, we have to display uh, the items in the vertical panel so containers hbox vbox so vbox vbox so I'm going to add that vbox here I'm going to set the constraints so in the left portion I want to start it from zero then here I want to start it from zero here zero so it will fit this much portion. In the bottom portion, we will have to add button. So let it be a bit blank there. We will fill that later. And then we need some text field. So JFX text field, the material design uh, text field. So I'm going to add a text field here. And uh, we will be needing four text fields. So I'm just copying and pasting. So we got four. And we have to set some margins in the 10 upper portion, 10 left. 10 right and 10 left and in the bottom is also 10 so I think it's okay so we got this much and uh, the first entry can be used for number of days I mean that could be number of days member can take book without fine so 
so this will be the integer that will give us the number of days remember can take the book without buying so regarding the margin we need more margin i mean at least here because uh, it will hit the topmost bar when we apply the label float so in the lower section i'm going to increase the margin upper margin to 25 and let us just see that okay so that's it's fine number of days remember can take book without buying uh, uh, now it is uh, better if we number of days remember can keep book Then find per day after the given period here. Then we need to use a name. Then we also need password. Password. So we will give username and password here. Here we will have to use a, what we can say not a, a password text field because we will have it shouldn't be with password should be visible. So I'm going to use password JFX password field. The issue is I will have to give the margin again. So it was 10 up there. It was 10 there. It was 10 in the left and 10 in the right. So that's okay now. Now I'm going to reduce the size because I need to have to add only two buttons. So I need a whole H box for adding two buttons, one for cancel and one for save. So I'm going to add it here. I don't want that much size. Only this much. So here also we can set this 0, 0, 0, so that's okay. And he, uh, here we have to give the prompt text, password, it will be uh, in the form and I mean if you type anything there it will be just like this. So that's fine, next let us add some buttons so we are going for jfx buttons the element field is a button just like we did before and i want to increase uh, i want two buttons so two buttons and here i'm going to increase the size so the best idea would be to prefer size preferred width to 200 so okay that's fine preferred height should be maybe 100 okay so now it's okay and we have two button for one button i am going to give the text as cancel cancel and for one button we can give the name save save so that's fine now we have to give a identifier for all these entries so uh, any days without fine then Find per day username password and when he click on the button save until save button action so when we click on the save button we will handle the save uh, we will call the method called handle save button action and handle cancel button action so that's about the UI design the UI design is now complete uh, let's come back to the library system and clicking on the setting or I feel somewhere we can make the controller class so uh, the entries are created uh, uh, without find the four uh, text fields and two methods for handling the button actions so that's good now we have to have a way to save these settings persistently so that's important because um, uh, using database is a one is one way it's just one way for storing the settings but a better method is you sit, uh, save it into a file there are a lot of methods that's available for writing an object into a file and the best method is i think that it is in the json format so uh, the json is nothing but a javascript object notation so it will allow a java object to be written into a file and then after some time when we start the program we can read the object from that file so uh, for that using json in java program we can use google's json library so in order to save our setting we will be using json json i will cover the using uh, the implementation i mean how to save 
the settings with your file using the JSON library. Before that, in this video itself, I'll be creating a container class because uh, for storing the information, I mean, uh, for storing the contents, uh, we'll need a wrapper class. So I'm going to create a Java class. Let that be preference wrapper. So this preference class, preferences. So I have created a preference class. Instead that we will have four fields. So one field is definitely n days, uh, number of days so n days without fine so we will store number of days a person can take keep the book without having fine and we need a plot variable uh, then uh, that will be a fine per day then we will need a username and password so that could be string username and string password Now we have to define a uh, what we can say a default values for these um, variables because when we start the program we will have to start the program with the default variable. So I'm going to create a preferences a default constructor and inside that I'm going to give default value. So n days without fine a person can take uh, keep book for 14 days two weeks without having fine and after that let's say uh, there will be two dollar i mean i'm mean from india so it is rupees so it will be two rupees per day fine and the username let the username be uh admin and regarding the password there is an issue if you use password like this like in human readable format anyone who is who is having the access to the settings file can read the password so uh, in this video I, I will explain that in the next video uh, we will uh, explain how to use a hashing method for securing the password because you cannot use this admin uh, i mean in the if the password is admin you cannot store it as plain admin you have to make some transformation into data and write into the file so that no one else can understand that so th there are many libraries available for doing this and we will be using the hashing method and i will explain that in the next video so uh, now we need some more uh, constructors and i mean getters and setters also so for that you can press alt insert if you are using that means and from there you can uh, get the get transactor option then we are gen we have generated the get transactor option so we have designed the settings ui and created a wrapper class a settings container and uh, in the next video we will see more implementation i mean how to say everything in the database and what what is the hashing so thanks for watching this video see you guys on the next video this is genuine core signing off